all those nerds in high school, like the weird theater kids and the anime people, and ugh, you know who I'm talking about, the people we didn't hang out with. So they've grown up now, and they're the ones making the laws. They're the Mark Zuckerbergs. They're the Fauci's of the world of f***ing nerds. Those f***ing dorks that never got laid in high school, and they've got a major chip on their shoulder against the normies. That's why you see all these fat f***s making laws. Oh, you can be obese and anorexic. Okay, sure. They're the ones inventing clown world. Why are we scared of these people? They were massive losers in high school and they're massive losers today. It's time to put the mother nerds back in their place. Stand the f <laughs> what I'm getting from this is that you peaked in high school. And how some people are viewing this is, oh, she said this and that and nerds based, so based and conservative. How okay, let me put this out there. I think society right now is too babied. So, it's swinging back. This is what happens in every society when it becomes too fruity, when there's too many donkey riders around, <laughs> then it swings back. So that's what's happening. And I think it's crazy that this is actually a white woman which is saying this because usually they're like very like, they're the ones which are pushing this LGBTQ whole thing so i'm like i'm surprised that it's coming from a white woman this tiktoker lost everything for saying the n-word so let's get straight into today's video married to broke ass neck black gays are more gay than white gays you're not getting knocked up you're a loser it's time to put the mother nerds back in their place stand the up thanks black community you all played your role well like the puppets you are hey guys it's misha and welcome back to my channel so today i want to talk about this tiktoker who recently went viral for saying the n-word we're also going to be listening to some <coughs> of her other takes and talking about whether or not she should have been canceled okay. but before we start please make sure you are subscribed and mm. hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos of course this we time are. i have a beef with the male community I give my criticisms to all because we are all about equity and inclusion here, right? I'm sick and tired of all girls getting blamed, or like guys, certain guys, thinking that all girls are gold diggers. You're getting the opinion of some dumb Jesus, this is so crazy. It's so crazy because I'm like, why not just continue? I mean, you're famous, you're successful, you have a booming TikTok, but for some reason, she just had to say the word. I have nothing against anybody saying the N-word. The reason why is just because I believe in free speech. I'm like, everyone should be able to say whatever they want. Then again, if I'm going to support them, that's a totally different thing. And uh, immigrants fresh <laughs> off the boat looking for a green card. Yes, they are probably gold diggers. Okay. But that's the exception. I'm the rule. Everybody I know who's married right now, they're married to broke ass Nick. And this is the thing, is she saying broke ass n-words because she means, like, you know how people say broke ass n-words, or does she actually mean broke ass n-words? So I'm like, maybe, what, leave it in the comment section, because that's what I was also confused, because it's the way you use it. If she was talking to a black person and said, you n-word, then that's a totally different thing than using it, even like, what, singing it in a song, like, I don't think that that's, there's anything wrong with that. Um, and they don't care. We don't <laughs> give money. I couldn't care less about your money, okay? My type is broke mechanics and surfer hippie dudes who just want to live in a shack and surf and have babies. All I ask of a man is that you're competent, you're, um, you're not a pussy. If somebody broke into our house at 3 a.m., you would know how to grab a gun and shoot a mother I don't like a pussy. I hate my dating history consists of all broke guys. And this is the thing which I don't understand also when they use that as a negative thing. Pussy is what, maybe what, the best thing on earth? People go to war for pussy. What is she making? I actually don't even like rich guys. They have an attitude, they're spoiled brats. All right, so in my opinion, that was obvious rage bait. It came out of nowhere. Like she just said it so casually and also just why, I guess, is my question, right? I mean, I think I know why. I think she wants that fame, uh, wants that attention, and she definitely got it. So a lot of people were saying, wow, this trad wife, freedom of speech, I'm so glad she did this, calling her conservative even. So let's break that down. Her cursing after every other word, 
not typically seen as traditional, right? A traditional woman. Is she married? Also another question, because if she's a trad wife, is she a wife? She wants to be this girl boss. This is how she's choosing to get her followers. And she was working in sales as a marketing and sales manager, I believe. So truly not the traditional wife, stay at home, mom, you know, sort of setup that we do see on TikTok. Some of them just post it for fun because that is how some women choose to live. And that's completely fine. I just don't know if that label trad wife really applies to Lily. And now let's talk about the N word. So the N word historically in the United States has been used to dehumanize black people, especially during slavery and segregation by white people. So do I think it's a good idea to use it? No, and even if you have a pass, let's say, to use this word, um, I don't think it's really necessary. I don't think it's a good look. And the same goes for any slur in my opinion. <laughs> do you know why she's saying this? because she doesn't want to get canceled. It's a different thing being cocky about it, but listen, when they threaten your livelihood, when they go after the money, that's when people really start to change. Listen, I can say it 100%. There's certain words which I just removed from my dictionary because I'm like, I'm not gonna risk it. I've been working so hard and what? Let me just throw that away for just a word or just like a moment. I'm like, no, no, no. Let me just, let me be the P word. You know, let me be that word. And let me just, you know, people can call me whatever they want to call me, but you got to be smart in these streets. And I know people will say, oh, well, it's just a word. Anyone can say it. Yeah, anyone can say it. Should anyone say it? Really? You'll often hear also that black people have reclaimed that word. So it's empowering when they say it. But then again, it's very interesting how many people were triggered by her video. Like on one hand, yeah, it's a word. You can say it. You also will have to face the consequences because apparently she got fired, right? I remember in <laughs> high school when we were reading uh, different books about slavery, we would go around the class and we we do like popcorn reading, oh, right? The teacher God, would say, funny. okay, so you can say- But wait, can white people say the, can they say Negro? Is that maybe better to say than nigga? The N word, when you come across it, uh, you can also just say the N word, right? <laughs> and so when the students, <laughs> some would say the N word, it was just really uncomfortable. As I said, context matters. Like if you're trying to learn about slavery or whatever, it's in a book. Or also nowadays in hip hop and rap songs, right? If someone's singing along, is that considered racist? I think that's a different scenario than someone. No, it's not because you are singing to a song which you like. So it's, it's not racist. Using it specifically to try and offend black people. And now here is her apology. A recent video of mine seems to have um upset members of a certain community black people and it this um all the backlash just really made me you know just really do a deep dive like do a soul search and after all that i still couldn't find a care yeah you're gonna that's great that's great honestly if you're gonna go down for saying something like this just stand by it it's like yes those are the consequences but then again i said what i said it's like fine i at the end of the day i still respect you you still have some respect, but if you're like, no, oh, I didn't really mean it. I'm like, you meant it. Like, just just say that you meant it and just be, be honest. It's better, better that you spit in my face than, you know, you spit in my food. Call us racist, you're gonna call us potential Timothy McVeigh's you. If the First Amendment is intended to protect anything, it's intended to protect offensive speech. If you're not going to offend anyone, you don't need protection. Larry Flynn. So I'm not gonna lie, her apology was pretty satisfying because we don't often see people kind of troll the mm. left in that way when they are being like fired and canceled in all these different ways. So that was kind of new and again, kind of satisfying to see, but war, what? Here's a letter from her previous job. A newly hired employee made inflammatory remarks on social media that do not align with the values and beliefs of our company. We want to make it clear that these sentiments are not representative of our organization and we do not condone or support such behavior. As soon as we were made aware of this situation, we took immediate action to pull that employee from her assignment, which is not directly with any client of ours and the employee in question is no longer with our company. We are owned and operated by African-American female and immigrant. But well, this is the thing, like so many companies need those customers. You can't have an internet profile nowadays or even an internet profile where you have 
or where you state opinions. You can't do that. That's why I got fired from my job, just because that's how it, after a while, they'll stumble into your videos. They'll be like, oh, you do YouTube. And then they click on one of those videos. And then you're saying something which is maybe offending women or maybe offending gay men or I don't know. I've said a lot in my videos. I've offended somebody. So I'm like, I get it. Somebody clicks on my video, they look and then they're like, oh my God, let's fire him. So I get it. At the end of the day, it's all about what do you think is more valuable? Your freedom of speech or your job? <laughs> Grant owned business and handled the situation as quickly as we could. So I went on over to X or Twitter and here's what I'm seeing. Damn. I'm sorry, but black gays are more gay than white gays. Lily, what? <laughs> Another one, if you're not getting knocked up, you're a loser. America, hey, people not having kids, you are some stupid mother out there. Mm -hmm. The birth rate is declining, and what are you doing? You're getting married, like, why even bother f***ing getting married, you loser? You're getting married, you have some f***ing dog in a stroller like a f Oh, classy. If you are considered... Loki, I kind of like that she's honest. I'm not even gonna lie, guys, I kind of like that. Yes, it's a little out there, but some of the things that she's saying, I kind of agree with. I mean, not not the F word part, but the thing with, you know, getting married and getting kids, because in the future, I want to get married and I want to have kids. So I'm like, you know, the birth rate is declining. So she is correct. She is correct. I'm not saying I'm behind her. No, I can't be because I'm a black man, but... Just saying, listen to 50% of what people say. Don't take all of the 50, take 50% and then throw away the, the other 50, but take the 50 at least and be like, oh, is she correct? Isn't she correct? During becoming gay, I would advise against it because the day of the <coughs> rainbow is over. Architecture mm. is gay. Cars are gay. Look at these electric cars. They're the gayest, ugliest, like uncool cars imaginable they're so embarrassing and so gay is everyone r word <laughs> she then said this is my favorite word so all those nerds in high school like the weird theater kids and the anime people and ugh, you know who i'm talking about the people we didn't hang out with so they've grown up now and they're the ones making the laws they're the mark zuckerbergs they're the fauci's of the world of nerds those dorks that never got laid in high school and they've got a major chip on their shoulder against the normies that's why you see all these fat making laws oh you can be obese and anorexic okay sure they're the ones inventing clown world why are we scared of these people they were massive losers in high school and they're massive losers today it's time to put the mother nerds back in their place stand the f up. <laughs> what i'm getting from this is that you peaked in high school and how some people are viewing this is Whoa. oh she said f this and f that and f nerds based so based and conservative okay let me put this out there i think society right now is too babied so it's swinging back this is what happens in every society when it becomes too fruity when there's too many donkey riders around <laughs> then it swings back so that's what's happening and I think it's crazy that this is actually a white woman which is saying this because usually they're like very like they're the ones which are pushing this LGBTQ whole thing. So I'm like, I'm surprised that it's coming from a white woman. Very surprised. Usually this is a black woman which is saying all of this. But then again, I could be wrong. I'm just a guy on the Internet. Don't cancel me. Traditional saying oh you guys were losers because you didn't get laid in high school okay mm. great sleeping around very conservative trad wife sort of behavior i think she's smart though in the way that she knows exactly the kind of audience that she's catering to especially the guys the men right in um the sort of is it alt right whatever it is fear where they actually really love these kind of videos and it seems like they're um a quite easy group to win over and maybe a little bit gullible because i think she is Perhaps putting on a bit of a character. I'm always right, and it's not because I'm smart. Like, I'm stupid. I'm a dumb But I always get it right because I'm always ahead of the curve. And here's why. I don't do what everybody else is doing. What everybody else is doing is always wrong. 
And another thing, like, be original. Like, you want to just do what everybody else does? How lame. That's so lame. Okay, guys, my final thoughts when it comes to this girl is this. Of course, you should be able to say whatever you want. I think as a human being, you should have that right. You know, they say what... Uh, Sticks and stones can break my bones, but words can never hurt me. I believe in that philosophy. I also believe in Jesus Christ. And I also believe that we should treat each other as we want to be treated. <laughs>